This beautiful juvenile harbor seal was found on a foggy morning in midsummer at Good Harbor Beach. The seal was beached at the high tide line and, when first discovered, was only a short distance away from the receding water of the outgoing tide. The seal's breathing was heavy and labored. It had no interest in returning to the water and needed merely to remain at rest. For the next six hours, the seal struggled to survive the world of curious humans. The nature of people is to want to try to assist what may appear to be a helpless or distressed animal. Harbor seals, with their large brown winsome eyes, especially pull at our heartstrings. Actually, a seal beaching itself is a natural occurrence. The term is called hauling out. Harbor seals inhabit shallow waters of estuaries, rivers, and places where sandbars and beaches are uncovered at low tide. When encountering a seal on the beach, watch quietly from at least 150 feet away, the distance recommended by the New England Aquarium. Do not try to pour water on the seal, feed the seal, return it to the water, or move the seal in any way. Most often the seal is in perfect health and only very occasionally will need our help when obviously injured. If the seal is visibly injured, do not approach it, but call your local marine hotline. Seals feel threatened by the presence of people, and when a person stands nearby, it only causes the animal greater stress. All seals, including adorable baby seals, are wild animals. They will bite. Seals defend themselves by biting and they feed by tearing food into chunks with their sharp teeth. A seal's bite is as dangerous as a dog bite. While on land, harbor seals rarely move from one location. They remain alert and wary, however, and turn their heads frequently to watch for potential danger. When alarmed, harbor seals will flush or quickly rush into the water. As the ecosystem finds renewed balance, there will be increasing numbers of seal encounters on public beaches. Readily available information is needed to inform visitors of proper seal protocol, namely to keep a safe distance of at least 150 feet from the animal. The young seal at Good Harbor moved only when it was frightened. It simply needed a peaceful rest. Curious beachgoers approached to within several feet, which terrified the seal and caused it to try to get away and to breathe even more heavily. When the tractor cleaning the beach roared past, the panicked seal tried desperately to get out of its way laboriously flushing across the beach on its belly for some distance and then collapsing in exhaustion. Lieutenant Thurlow of the Environmental Police determined that the Good Harbor Seal did not appear to be injured. Later in the morning, a lifeguard arrived at her station Although not an easy task, she kept the curious onlookers at a safe distance from the harbor seal. The seal became calmer as it rested, its breathing became more even, and it often closed its eyes. As the returning tide began to approach, the seal did not make any attempt to meet the water. Instead, it lay on the sandbar while the incoming tide water began to wash over its body, as if it knew that the waves would return to carry it back to sea.
When nearly completely immersed, with a paddle of its tail, the seal slid sleekly into the surf. A moment later, the little black head could be seen bobbing further offshore. <laughs>